so, okay, I don't really know, like, how to start this video, but basically, Mackenzie and I have been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to sleep train our daughter, and, like, it's just not working, like, I hate so badly, like, having to listen to her cry it out. Mackenzie, like, she has Mackenzie wrapped around her little finger, without a doubt. Um, if she cries, and she cries long enough, um, which is pretty much for, like, five minutes, he will go in and pick her up, and I'm like, oh my god, no. Like, erasing all of my efforts to sleep train her, and I understand, like, he loves her, she's his daughter, but she's gotta go to sleep, and my dad drives me up a wall, because, like, when we're trying to get her to go to sleep, because we live with my parents for right now, but, like, when I'm trying to get her to go to sleep, so he, he'll see her, and, like, he'll be like, it sounds like a girl that needs to see her grandpa, and, like, want to hold her, and I'm like, no, I'm, like, in the middle of trying to get her to go to sleep, like, no, and it's, like, so frustrating, I have no words for it, um, so she's also teething, which makes things obviously like a trillion times worse for me and Mackenzie. Um, teething doll doesn't work, we've tried popsicles, we've tried um, teething rings, we've tried rubbing her gums, it's like nothing works. And I'm realizing now because like the bottle, when she sucks on it, it actually, the suction like hurts her teeth because she's teething, so she'll stop, she'll stop, like, sucking, and cry, and cry, and cry, and, like, I feel so bad for her, but then, like, ten minutes later, she's hungry again, because she's not eating as much as she should be, because her teeth hurt, and I don't know, it's just, like, so frustrating, because I don't know what to do about it, and, you know, ugh, it sucks, so that's what's been going on with that, um, I'm kind of, I mean, I like to try and comfort her and stuff, but she pretty much wakes back up, so right now I'm kind of doing, like, the cry it out method, because to me that seems like the only thing that's, like, been working for us is to just let her cry, like, we go in after five minutes, give her a pacifier again, after ten minutes, give her a pacifier, and after fifteen, and so on and so forth, um, and... That seems like it kind of works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, I'll rock her and hold her, and that helps her get to sleep, but then, like, after I have to leave the room, she wakes up. And actually, right now, she kind of put herself to sleep, so I'm really happy about that, but who knows how long she'll actually stay asleep. And it kind of sucks, because tomorrow we're going to meet my cousins. Um, <clears throat> we got something we got to do, and then we're going to go to the park for a picnic, and it's like the first time one of my cousins has ever seen her, and I don't want her to be, like, a cranky mess tomorrow, and I have stuff to do, and, you know, and I got food to make and stuff for it, and it's, like, it's just crazy. So, it's now 10 o'clock, and she's finally in bed, and Kenzie's been up all night with her, so, um, now I'm gonna be up with her all day, and it's just crazy, so, um, if anybody has any advice for sleep training, I would appreciate it. Thanks.